Welcome back to Andy Cooks, and a really quick one today. I just wanted to run you guys through how I get super crispy bacon at home every time. All right, so super crispy bacon. All you need, some bacon, a pan, and a little bit of water. Now, I like to use streaky bacon for this. I think it works much better than the, the loin bacon or the middle bacon that's pretty common in Australia and, and England as well. But I like the streaky bacon, the American or Canadian style streaky bacon. It's got a higher fat content. And I also prefer something with a bit of smokiness to it. So how we get super crispy bacon, you may have seen me do this in a couple of my other videos and it usually kind of blows people's minds. But what we do is we take bacon in a cold pan and we lay it out flat. So once you've got it laid out flat, ideally you don't want it really touching too much, but it will shrink a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of water, like this much, not really that much at all. Anyway, let's get this over to the stove and I'll explain why this works so well. So, on a high heat, and all we're gonna do is start reducing the, the water to it. it basically completely evaporates. And what that does is it renders the fat out really effectively and evenly and then you can start crisping up the flesh. So when you get crispy bacon, what's happening is basically you're getting the flesh super crispy. Uh, think of it like the charred effect you get on a steak. You get that outside crust. That's basically what you're doing to that whole piece of, of, uh, of, of pig flesh. So put it on the heat, start on a high temperature, uh, and it will, will take a few minutes. Just let that water reduce down. Once it's reduced down, then you start crisping up the bacon. So let's come back then. All right, we're almost at crunch time here. You can see all the water pretty much evaporated. And as soon as that happens, you've got to pay close attention because this is going to crisp up pretty quickly. So you can see there that the water's pretty much evaporated and it is starting to brown up on the edges. Now, if you're going to use the loin style bacon or your short crust bacon isn't particularly thick, uh, then you do need to add a little bit of oil to the pan as well. But if you're doing a, a, you've got a really good quality bacon with good fat, you won't need to add any oil. So I haven't added any oil to this one, uh, but if you are using a lawn style bacon, put a little bit of oil in when you put the water in. And use a, like don't use olive oil, use like a grapeseed oil or, or canola oil or peanut oil, something high temperature uh, and then neutral, neutral flavor. So the fat's rendered down nicely and it's starting to brown up. So we're gonna do the first flip. We will do two or three flips here just to get a nice even colouring and crispness. And this is where a splatter guard comes in handy. <laughs> you see here really clearly all that fat that's come off the bacon. I didn't put any of that in there, that's all off the bacon. Ready for flip number two. At this point I'm going to turn it down a bit because I can see it's starting to brown up a bit faster than I'd like. And the last flip. So the temperature's right down low now. And onto some paper towel. Or you can use a wire rack. And there you have it. Super crispy. Not burnt at all. Fat's beautifully rendered. Mm. Listen to that crunch. Thanks for watching guys. Jump in the comments if you've used this method. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. And we'll see you on Sunday for another video. Peace.